The remarkable inventiveness of artist, collector, scholar, and historian Emily Noyes Vanderpool shines in her first and most prominent work, Color Problems, a practical manual for the lay student of color, originally published in 1901. This 400-page tome provides a comprehensive overview of the main ideas of color theory at the time, as well as the artist's widely original approaches to color analysis and interaction. Through a 21st century lens, she appears to stumble upon mid-century design and minimalism decades prior to those movements. Presenting her work as a painting manual under the guise and genre of flower painting and the decorative arts, subjects considered appropriate for a woman of her time, she was able to present a thoroughly studied yet uniquely poetic approach to color theory that was later taken up and popularized by men and has now become ubiquitous in contemporary art departments. Her square format predates Joseph Albers' iconic homage to the square by some 50 years. This series of gridded squares, each 10 by 10, analyzed the proportions of color derived from actual objects, Assyrian tiles, Persian rugs, an Egyptian mummy case, and even a teacup and saucer. The book also contains a watercolor series of artistic interpretations with poetic titles like Color Note from Bare Woods on the Edge of a Meadow and Color Note from a Shadow on White Ground. Vanderpool was vice president of the New York Watercolor Club that was founded in response to the refusal by the American Watercolor Society to accept women as members. Though formed in response to sexist exclusion, its jury-selected exhibitions had stricter standards for the content included in its shows and, as a consequence, created an overall higher standard of work. This standard is evident throughout her entire career as a pioneer and visionary artist. With a focus on the phenomenology, modulation, and experience of color and its harmonies, along with a design aesthetic that was decades ahead of its time, Emily Noyes Vanderpool remains one of the most prominent, underrated, and contemporarily relevant artists of her time and of the last century. This book languished in antiquarian book markets, never receiving its proper audience. With this publication, we aim to change that and have taken meticulous measures to reproduce the original artifact with this new edition. Using the most current digital methods and archival printing production, we aim to do justice to Vanderpool's forgotten legacy.